All right, guys, we're out here with uh, Captain Leo taking Swamp and Stomp out for a little yellow toe action. Yo, there's actually a story behind this guy. Uh, this is the man that introduced me and Danny back in the day. Yeah, it's actually did. the first time that we're going to go fishing with him. Oh, and they really? and they became best friends and they never caught me again. Sad story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, we invite you all the time, man. We got some secret sauce working up here right here. What's in your uh, sauce, Captain Leo? Yeah, oats. We got tournament chum and a little bit of something else, but I can't tell you that yet. What's the What's the idea with the oats? What's the point of that? Just eat it. It's not like. I think it's chum. I think it's food. They love it. So you just get a little more chum for a little less. Right. Funny. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm like all those Instagram fishermen, you know, bling bling, money ain't a thing, we out here, we're getting some fish. Hey, Captain Leo, What's up? tell me what you're doing. What are you doing right now? What's the trick? What kind of chum is that? Uh, frozen tournament chum. Is that, that's, that's, that's the good chum right there. It hit the water and we already had a file fish on it within like three seconds. Some slick going on a reef, and that's the target species right there is yellowtail snapper. So, what we're doing, we're throwing these tiny little jig heads, we've got some silver sides, and I'm just hooking them right in the head. And basically, just toss them out the back and leave your bale open. Just keep feeding line out, never close the bale. Just keep feeding it out, watching the line. When the line starts speeding up, Got a bite. And if you're real good, you can just catch them by hand. Your bait's probably gone. <laughs> Show us how it's done, Leo. Going. There you go. Looks like a monster. Oh, look at that monster. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, that's a good fish. That's a good fit. Oh, he came off. Don't horse on him, Danny. Don't horse. Hey, what is that? Little, little lane. Don't horse on him. Dude, I haven't popped the line yet. <laughs> you just, you literally just did. No, they cut the line. That's different. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. Look at this. It's a horse. The yellow fit. Nice. That's a keeper. Danny the Slay him. Slayer. <laughs> the yellow tail slayer. <laughs> this uh this yeah. fish got a little heavy while I was reeling it in for a minute. It's a good thing he's a keeper because he ain't gonna make it.
All right, so this is new to me. I, I, he has a special trick on how to uh, clean a yellowtail snapper. How to scale. How to scale it. Uh, right. Clean. cleaned up a whole bunch of yellowtail but while we were fishing we actually caught a bunch of these <laughs> and they're uh so they're like an atlantic big eye you can tell they got this giant freaking eye toro. uh some people also call them toro apparently but um they're an unregulated species and uh a lot of people just throw them back because i guess people think they don't taste good some people think they're poisonous but uh we're gonna clean them up and try them out and let you guys know what we think of them. This is a, you wanted to see the difference? Mm -hmm. This is this is the female. See, it's like orange and it's full of eggs. Looks really different. All of this? Yeah, that's all egg. It's like swordfish, like it's like mm -hmm. much more. Yeah, like meaty, like, not like flaky. Yeah, like exactly. It's not as normally. soft as the um, the yellowtail. Mm -hmm. Here, try to find a piece that doesn't have uh, skin on it. Like this guy go. right here. No, that has skin. Oh, here, this. This. That's uh, Toro. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, I was filming your chest. There, there's your face. There's really good. I really like it. Not fishy at all. No. That's good because I only like fish if it doesn't taste like fish. <laughs> well, here's another piece. It's like soft chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After eating all that fish, we were so full we just sat on the couch and I completely forgot to shoot the ending of this video. But as you can tell from the video, we thought that the food quality of the Toro or the Atlantic Big Eye was incredible. It was really, really good meat. It was a little more firm than the Yellowtail Snapper. So in this particular case, is it trash or a tasty treasure? In this case, it's definitely a tasty treasure. So when you catch one next time, throw it in your cooler and give it a try and let us know what you think about it. For those of you that are interested, we have a quarterly giveaway going on, and this time around, we're giving away a Summit Viper SD tree stand. And you can win it for free. All you have to do is subscribe, and you can click on this video right here. You can see the rest of the rules of what you gotta do to get entered into the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you guys next time.